what is going on guys welcome back to the channel so in today's video i do want to go over a few different racetracks showing the weather here in this game because i do feel like even to this day guys the weather in drive club is absolutely incredible the first one i am going to do is going to be here in scotland in the rain the second one is going to be in norway in the snow at nighttime, which i probably won't even complete that event but i am going to do the third event here which i think that's going to be the trotter niche probably did not pronounce that right Obviously, they're in Scotland. This is probably going to be a pretty fun race in the lovely Pagani Waira. So I'm going to do this one at 10 o'clock. Also going to have heavy precipitation on the times one. That way, the time's not going to speed up and stuff like that. For this, I also want it to be a stormy cloud covering. Let's click that right now, guys. Again, I am going to be running the lovely Pagani Wire. I haven't really driven it, but I would say this car is probably going to be pretty dang fun. That's my club color. Eh, that's kind of ugly. That's special. And then I have um, custom, which I don't know what that's from. So guys, jumping into the first event here with the lovely Pagani Wire. Now I have to admit, I don't know if the audio is going to be too loud here in third person mode. I was trying to like go through and lower a bit. I did notice I have it on the lowest setting. If I put it on zero, it's obviously not going to be hearing anything. So I wasn't trying to do that. And now I also have to chase a Rymac, I believe that car is called, in a regular Wire. So I'm probably going to lose this. But nonetheless, guys, the big highlight here is going to be the driving dynamics in the weather of Drive Club. Now, this is going to be the rain here. I am going to do... I think that's rain. Is that rain? Uh, I think it's rain. It looks like it. I'm just going so fast. Hey, I passed you, bro. Funny thing is, I actually did a few runs on this event before this, and I could not get past that dude at all. So maybe I can hold that here. One thing I have to say, though, guys, the weather in this game really is going to be incredible. Keep in mind... This game is legit 9 years old, by the way, and we have weather dynamics like this. I also don't know if I'm right on this. I thought they had to add the weather later on in the game. I thought it came out, like, after the game was out. I could be wrong on that because it's been a really long time. I honestly don't really know. You know what would also help? If Block would actually downshift a gear once in a while to get in the correct gear. Let's go into first person here. Maybe I could drive better in that. I know I don't have my gear shifter. Whoa, that was a very tight corner. And I didn't shift. That would have helped me a little bit. Got to pay attention to my RPMs. But look at this, guys, in first-person mode. It is insane to me that we are still comparing Drive Club to newer racing games even now. Like, that's how big the standard on this game was back then. Which I would say right now we probably need more of that. Like, a lot of games nowadays, people are like, man, it ain't that good. Can we go back to Drive Club? Can we get more of that in here? Like, look at the weather, guys. This looks incredible. I do know I'm probably not going to win this either because I wasn't shifting right in first-person. And I am, whoa, and I'm also driving a wire, which might be a bit slower than that thing. I don't really know if it's faster. I don't really play this game like I used to, but I might have to start. Oh, that was not what I had in mind. You know what would help? If I actually used my brakes once in a while. Who knew? Yeah, I'm probably not going to be catching this dude. So I did lose the first race, guys. I might have to do a few other ones. But the next race I want to do, though, I'm actually going to drive a Ferrari in the snow, which I can't wait for. Not only is it going to look insane at nighttime, it's pretty dang hard to see in there. Okay, so the next event here is going to be a nighttime stormy and heavy precipitation with snow. I also think that might have been snow in the last event. At least I thought it was rain, not 100%. Do not worry, I'm also not going to be driving the lovely Pagani there. So let's go back this way. I could drive the LaFerrari. Never even driven this car before. Should I take that chance? Eh, I can't really see out of it with the uh, steering wheel basically blocking off your entire hand. Let's go... Ah, uh, yes, the FXXK Evo. The only issue with driving that is probably going to come down to the fact that I can't really hear anything. Ooh, you know what? Let me not drive a hypercar because I'm also going to be at nighttime driving in the snow, so I probably won't be able to see a thing. Let me go back a bit here and see if there's like a 488 or a 458. Now we're talking, bro, could drive that. What else we got here in the super category? Got the F430. Where is, ooh, Lamborghini. Okay, is there not another, where's the Rari at? Is there not another Rari? Okay, there's that thing. There's the F40. There it is. Now we're talking 458 special. There we go. Probably didn't say it right, but let's use this thing. Uh, custom looks kind of ugly. Am I right? It looks like honeycombs. And I don't really want that cereal. Let's go back to, yeah, let's do regular. Look at the detail, guys. You can see the water, or I guess you could say the snow, but like the water on the car from the snow. Looks so dang insane. Now, the biggest thing, I have to drive at nighttime. This is going to be kind of scary. So before I hit the start button here, I do want to warn y'all, I am probably not going to drive very well because you really can't see much of anything at nighttime in the snow. Like, it's legit difficult 
that's also probably why they most likely made it so there's like lightning or something so you can see a bit for example guys look at this i'm legit not kidding here man this is legit crazy so it's going to be completely snowy obviously with the other racers that are in the event i think there's only one racer with me which is um kind of odd but let's see if i can actually keep up with them one thing i do know is in the snow and stuff like that sometimes the cars are a bit wonky to use or like they're not the funnest thing out there to actually drive so you can see how this thing's actually going to do let's go in first person mode like guys look at this for a second this game is legit nine years old driving in the snow looks absolutely insane you know what I'm not even trying to win, bro. I'm just legit driving and enjoying the weather. This is absolutely insane. Like, I can't believe it. One thing I also can't believe is even to this day, a lot of the games are still being compared to Drive Club. I think we can all see why, bro. This game is from 2014, and we legit have weather like this. Like, I don't have words. This is insane looking. Like, look at this. You know what? Why even race for? I have to look at this. Like, look at this, guys. Absolutely insane looking at nighttime. I might actually switch this to a different race on daytime. That way, I can drive it and actually see a bit. At nighttime, it's going to make it, like, really difficult to see turns and stuff. Funnily enough, before this event, I was actually in a different one. I was messing around in it, and I was like, you know what, man? Maybe I shouldn't do that event, though, because driving around in some of the point-to-point -point events in the snow is not easy at all. Going, like, 150 miles an hour, guys, you could barely see what's in front of you on those roads. Definitely going to be a pretty big challenge. Like, if you guys are looking for something to do in a game, and it's not going to be an easy event, this is by far something you can do. Even jumping on Drive Club and doing some of these races, I'm like, man, like, this is actually hard, bro. For one, you can't really see anything. Yes, you obviously have the lightning strikes coming down, which is going to give you a small boost of some visibility for, like, a split second. Even though it's not going to be all the time, guys. Like, look at that. It just looks incredible. And, all right, you know what? I'm going to have to admit something. I'm going to do another race right now, but this time I'm going to make it during the day, basically showing off, like... The entire snow era where you can see in it instead of being at nighttime i just got completely destroyed by a ktm expo which is unfortunate oh my goodness i leveled it up Woo! okay not really sure why i did that but for the next race i am going to be using the lovely aventador and for this one guys i am also going to not actually be at nighttime that way i can see a bit at least hopefully in the mountains here one thing I have to admit, guys, I did say this in the 2024 video. Could y'all imagine an open world drive club type of game? That, like, bro, can y'all imagine that? Okay, so this is a bit better. Not sure if it's going to be snowing as much here, but maybe I can actually drive a little bit better on this one. The funniest thing about this, though, guys, I was using the Ferrari before, which I do know that car is rear-wheel drive. Now I'm driving the Aventador, which is going to be all-wheel drive. And my goodness, the difference in feeling in this car is, like, not even matched. Whoa, I kind of jumped over that gotta stay in first person so here's the main thing about the weather guys i do know nighttime you know is going to show how insane the weather looks but you know what i do understand it's going to be crazy and all that but i did find to have the regular time like this a lot more fun that way you can see what you're doing and you can also see like the really cool detail around the map with like the rain hitting the road you can also see like parts of the road are even flooding on the sides of it i do know a lot of games don't even have that either let me go into third real fast to show that so you guys can see like the water piling up on the sides of the roads and stuff like that, which is crazy. You can see like the puddles. Dang, dude. I probably downshifted wrong there is probably why you got in front of me though. Should be able to come back from that one. I think that's a Renault. Now everybody can agree though, the weather in Drive Club is probably going to be some of the best we have ever seen. It makes me laugh when people are like, yo, look at Need for Speed 2015 and stuff like that, which don't get me wrong, that game also looks amazing for being in 2015. When looking at Drive Club, though, you're like, wait a second, we have to show this game compared to something like Unbound or even like Need for Speed Heat. Even newer racing games, even for that matter, guys, do not look as good as Drive Club did. One of the other things that, whoa, I caught some air there, bro. That was insane. What in the world? I just jumped a Lambo. But one of the other things I did really like about this game is we do know right now, for example, a good way to say this is the Crew 2 having snow basically everywhere, where it also snowed in Miami. The thing about that, though, is even in the snow, guys, you really did not notice a difference. You know, I probably should slow down around corners a bit. Might help a little bit there. But one thing I noticed about the Crew 2, though, is yes, the game obviously had snow and rain and stuff like that. Most of the vehicles in the game weren't really going to be affected by the said weather that's happening in it. Whereas something like Drive Club, yes, I'm using an all-wheel drive Lambo, which you can feel the difference in it. Even driving in the snow before, guys, in the lovely Ferrari, you can definitely tell the car was struggling a bit more than it would if the entire ground was, like, dry and stuff like that, which I love the actual dynamics in a game like that. It really does give you, like, a crazy feeling of racing and stuff. Now, a lot of players can argue that, sure, the physics might not be all that realistic or something, but 
Gotta say it right now, I would say Drive Club is pretty dang simmy, I would have to admit. Like, I don't think this is a Simcade. Let me know your thoughts on that, guys. Wouldn't this be more of, like, a sim type of racing? It's not really a Simcade. I would say, like, having a wheel on this game is going to be dope. Also, I need to win a race, bro, so I'm gonna have to beat you, man. I'm gonna have to beat you. Let me go uh, back into first person for the audio here, and it looks like he's way back there now. Man, it really is crazy driving in the rain and stuff and actually going back into the snow. Which one do I like more, to be honest? You know what? I would probably say the rain's more fun. Like, this type of weather right here is perfect, man. I love it. Driving in the snow at nighttime is okay, but I just... I don't know, man. Like, it wasn't all that... Oh, man, am I going to win this? Can you guys imagine? Oh, goodness. Okay, I won it. All right, so the last event I did want to show here is going to be one of the longer point-to-point -point events here again in Norway, but this time I'm not going to be in nighttime. It's actually going to be in the daytime. And man, guys, like I do understand nighttime is fun, but can we look how pretty this game is? Like, look at that. Look at the snowy mountains. Look at the way the water's all over the road. It just, it blows my mind. The graphics on Drive Club really just, every time I jump on it, no matter what day it is or what I'm doing, I'm like, you know, this game really was incredible for its time. It's just, it's just amazing looking. Now, I do want to admit right now, I would almost say a lot of people might be like, well, Block, you're using something like the Lamborghini Aventador. Of course, it's going to be a bit easier to drive in these situations. It's all-wheel drive. You know what's funny about that is you're not wrong because I was doing one of the AMG events before in the AMG Black Series. You know what? That event was honestly really hard, guys. It was raining incredibly hard in that event, and the car basically slid everywhere around the corners. Like, you basically had to slow down a lot more than you probably wanted to in them, and then after that, you'd actually have to, like, almost spin out trying to accelerate. So I guess there really was going to be some type of, like, learning curve there. We're getting used to the vehicle you are driving while being in this type of weather. Dang, Porsche. That's not very nice, dude. Funny thing is, that's also rear-wheel drive, actually. I don't think it is rear-wheel drive. Honestly, I don't really know. Whoa, that was actually kind of dope. I legit spun around that corner perfectly. But I have to admit one last thing here, guys. If you haven't played this game and done some of these weather things, because I think the update did come after, I would honestly recommend jumping on and trying it, bro. Like, it really is fun. You can actually try out different weather dynamics like rain and snow in different parts of the maps and all that. And you can also pick from a load of different tracks to actually mess around with in the weather. So it really is going to give you a pretty fun feeling overall for the most part. Even though some vehicles might be a bit harder to drive, like currently I am learning how to drive right now. Which is kind of insane how I can't catch the Porsche and the Lambo, even though I'm driving pretty poorly. Which is kind of funny. Maybe I can catch it at the end? I don't know about that, buddy. Blocked, you're kind of failing me right now, bud. Oh man, can I actually catch him? And you know what's funny about that is I did actually fail the event. Probably not very shocking watching how I was just driving in that event. A lot of players are like, uh, Block, what are you doing, bro? Like, come on, man, you're driving a Lambo. Well, it turns out he was faster than I was because I um forgot how to drive there. But overall, though, guys, I will be doing more videos on Drive Club in the future. If you haven't jumped on and tried the weather... Jump on, guys. Jump into a single event. Pick your favorite car. But the one good thing there is at least you are seeing, like, the random lightning strike during a snowstorm. That way you can't see for a few seconds. And hopefully then if you were going to crash, it might save you from hitting that guardrail or going around the turn in the wrong direction like I kind of did a few times. But overall, guys, let me know your thoughts on the Drive Club weather. Even to this day, it's some of the best.